What's up everyone? I'm here in New York City's borough of the Bronx and I'm going to walk through Arthur Avenue today, the Bronx Little Italy. I recorded this video on September 21st, 2022. It's a Wednesday afternoon, 5.15 p.m. and it's 79 Fahrenheit, 26 Celsius. Here at the intersection of Fordham Road with Arthur Avenue, busy as always. A lot of things have changed around here, including this gas station, which I haven't seen before. Well, let's get right into it. Many people will call this Little Italy as the real Little Italy compared to Manhattan's Little Italy. But to be fair, I've been to both Little Italy's, the Bronx and Manhattan, and both of them really do have great places. I can't really say which one is more real than the other because the only real Italy is over in Europe. I know the Bronx Little Italy is a pretty popular spot for especially the Fordham University students. They'll come right down here. Tony and Tina's Burek and Pizzeria. I've actually eaten here before. Food is pretty good. Simon's Deli. Stop by to get a Gatorade at Simon's. They're very friendly in there. But this will definitely hydrate me as I finish my walk. Once we cross the street, this is the start of the busy part of Bronx Little Italy. That's a pretty cool ride. Sodas and waters for a dollar. Yeah. Last call bar and grill. I guess this is the last call before you exit the Bronx Little Italy for a drink. 
pretty funny. Sapori di Casa, Tino's Delicatessen. This building over to the right looks completely new now. Fitness center. These look like apartment buildings on the top. Tuxedo store. And in Tony's restaurant, established in 1927, five generations here on Arthur Avenue. Hundred and eighty seventh Street. Here's where we see a lot of Italian restaurants as well on this block. In the intersection here it used to be painted the colors of the Italian flag, but that's faded out. across the street. Which is my friend Rich Mancuso's favorite slice in the city. I've yet to try it. Looks like they've been there since 1976. So long standing business here on Arthur Avenue. Gerbasi Ristorante Italiano across the street next to the Modern Market. Modern Market actually looks new. It's also interesting they kept the top part reliable Bronx Italian Bakers Inc. 1918. So that used to be a bakery a long, long time ago. Arthur Cantina. Here's a new spot that's opening up, Milano Restaurant. They still have the paper all over the the storefront. Senza's clam bar still here and fish market. All these restaurants coming up, these have been in Arthur Avenue for a long time. Enzo's, Mario's, I've eaten at many of them. There's the Arthur Avenue retail market. A good guy. Pastry stand over there. Italian specialties towards the back. Hundred years of Mario's in 2019.
They had a nice picture of Mario there in the doorway. Amelia's restaurant. This place looks new. Asgard's New York. can't believe how much Arthur Avenue has changed. Although there's several classic locations that are here, there's a lot of new places that have opened up. Prince Coffee House. This pizzeria has been here for a long, long time. Pascal's Rigoletto. Right now I am going to walk back towards the Full Moon Pizza because I'm actually curious what it tastes like. Might even do a review of it on Action Kit Extra, so stay tuned for that. San Gennaro Ristorante. Patron saint of Naples and also the patron saint of the feast that's happening in the Manhattan Little Italy right now, the Feast of San Gennaro. There's a Parisian cafe that's pretty busy. Kenzo is always busy. Love this Italian pastry shop, Marone's pastry shop and cafe. Ivana's Pizzeria, 20% off with a Fordham University ID.
Gurbasi. Some benefits to being a student here. 10% off for Fordham University students. everyone well I am gonna get a slice of pizza at full moon pizzeria if you want to know how it is you're gonna have to tune into my second channel action kit extra that's where the review is gonna be posted but I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Bronx Little Italy on Arthur Avenue hit the like button if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye bye